Almost as soon as RSC was established in 1905, the club began to create maps of the state and implement the first road signs for local motorists. The maps produced by RAC highlighted not only great places to visit and where to stay, but the best routes considering many roads were built for horse and cart. The earliest signs were erected to signal danger and to aid direction to people travelling the state. The police also sought the help of RAC to protect children outside schools. By the mid-1920s, signage was considered so important to road users, RAC had installed more than 6,000 across the state. One legendary road patrol, Ernest Hackforth, travelled to Albany, making and erecting signs as he went. In 1920, the club also successfully campaigned to have an area each side of Nanup Warren Road near Pemberton declared a national park, ensuring the preservation of the area's immense carry forest. When RAC established its road patrol service in 1926, signs were used to communicate how they could help. By 1929, with patrols stationed at Greenmount, Cottesloe and Hamilton Hill, motorists were guaranteed a quicker service. Signs were not only used to advise on how to seek mechanical assistance, but to promote a pilot service that was offered when regional motorists could be met and guided through the city streets by an RAC patrol. By the 1960s, a full-time travel agency for members was opened and the club continued over the coming decades to expand its mapping and travel services. And, like today, RAC wasn't just there to help motorists with their car or guide the way, but had a strong focus on road safety, advertising that every Wednesday, motorists could have their lights and brakes checked for free. The end of the signposting era for RAC was in 1975, when the government took over the role RAC continues to champion road safety and encourage West Australians to explore this beautiful state. RAC, for the better.